Trump's uh, strong appeal to 60 or 70 million Americans is that he is shameless in his creation of an alternate reality about himself and what he has actually done in his life. To accept that alternate reality, tens of millions have chosen to be willfully ignorant of the facts underlying those reality creations and are consequently willing to accept them as true when they are demonstrably false. I discussed in prior videos, which I will link in the more section below, uh, where I discuss how Trump started to create in the 1980s and into the 1990s a false image of being a genius businessman when he was nothing but a huge loser, as shown in his tax returns. I would estimate that there are no more than 10 people, maybe no more than five, that have reported a more than $900 million loss on their individual tax return for one year. Trump reported a $916 million loss on his 1995 tax return. The New York Times published on 10-1-2016 pages from that return. In Trump's America, that information does not contradict in any manner, shape, or fashion his self-created image of being a genius businessman, but simply shows how smart he is in invading uh, taxes or something like that. Impossible for me to understand the Trumpster logic on that one. This is my third video discussing the New York judge, judge's finding that uh, regarding Trump's fraudulent uh, financial statements that were used to lower financing costs on loans and to acquire property that, according to the judge, could not otherwise have been acquired uh, if, uh, if Trump had been using honest, honest uh, financial statements. Yes, I know that Trump is a good Christian based on what I've been told by Christian evangelicals and what I've read online. Even though he's unable to cite a favorite Bible passage and is more likely to have read Hitler's speeches as claimed by one of his ex-wives than the Bible. The next fraudulent valuation that I will be discussing now, as found by the court, involved Briarcliff, Briar a potential project involving 71 condominium units on undeveloped land in Briarcliff, New York. The appraiser valued the property at $45 million. Eric Trump told a Trump employee to value the property at $101 million, even though he knew the appraised value was less than one half of that sum. Trump, Eric Trump found out later that the Trump Organization only had the right to build 31, not 71, units. Notwithstanding that knowledge, the Trump financial statements continued to state it had the right to build 71 units. The entire uh, property at Trump's National Golf Club had been appraised at $82 million, but the financial statements used $140 million. Uh, as to Park uh, Trump Park Avenue property, valuation was based on internal uh, Trump International Realty spreadsheets and ignored the, quote, current market values, end of quote, numbers on the same sheets. The current ma market value part of the, of the spreadsheet was removed prior to sending it to Mazars, M-A-Z-A-R, the independent accounting firm. There were 12 rent-stabilized apartments at Trump Park Avenue, a known fact, which makes them worth far less than non-rent-stabilized apartments. Those apartments were then valued as if they were not rent-stabilized and valued at an aspirational price, overvaluing them by as much as 700%. I will have at least one more video on this subject.